Okay, can you see her? She's not wearing shoes. And I'm not wearing shoes either, I'm wearing slippers. Still. Hey everybody, it's David Cinelli. And his wife. And who is my wife? Natalie Bale and Cinelli, Spaces Collective. Stager. Very tired, Stager. Yeah. Maybe I should outsource my staging. I got some calls the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a new stager? <laughs> Unless we get divorced. <laughs> Maybe we just bought a house, so I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of the houses, okay, we wanted to talk a little bit about, we're gonna try to put this, the, the, the pictures of when we had the house, our house up for rent as opposed to lease. Um, what's as the opposed, difference? As opposed to sale. Sorry, yes. We, had, we first listed our house for lease and we were debating if we wanted to lease it or we would sell it. And then we decided to revamp and we said, no, we're gonna sell it. Mm -hmm. So you look at pictures, so I'm like, the pictures still look great from the first time, but we did a total overhaul of when we wanted to sell. Yeah, well, I mean, the big difference is, is the amount of investment you're gonna make when you lease versus, versus sell your own property. Um, we used what we had and made sure everything was like super clean and organized, but um, we didn't replace any furniture or any pillows or anything like that. Yeah, well, there's no point even though because we had the furniture and the, the stuff we used, a lot of it was in my storage, but we're like, yeah. again, for lease, it didn't matter as exactly. much. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But for sale, it mattered. Yeah, totally so, um, so are we gonna pop a picture of? Yeah, so we'll do the before right now. So this is what we had in our lease pictures. So hopefully I can edit these and I have to edit these sooner or later. So you gotta get these pictures yeah. to me. Okay. Uh, so we had our regular couch that we live on. It's pretty massive. It's super deep um, and it's in a smaller space than it should be. But we love it. It's a restoration hardwood couch. Was, we waited for a couple of years. It's like one of those things like, it's not yeah. a showy couch. I know you love it less now because we've had our cats have beaten the crap out of it. Yeah, but yeah, it's still one. Of, still was one of our. Anyhow, favorites. very comfortable, um, but a little bit too big for the space. So I guess we flip to the next one. Yeah. So now okay. the second one we did is like now we, when we revamped, we were like, okay, what was your thought process before we get into it? Like, what? Why did you want to swap it out? Well, number one, we needed a smaller couch for the space. The family room area isn't that big. It wasn't you know enormous. Um, so we wanted to make sure we showed everything properly to scale. Um, so what we did is we swapped out the coffee table and we swapped out the sofa. So the sofa was still a full three-seater sofa, um, just a little bit smaller in scale and a little bit lighter in color. So we had a lot of, um, I guess before we revamped the kitchen, so when we, when we made, when we got the new kitchen, uh, black with gold accents, um, and we had like the darker walnut floor, it, it, before we had all that, we had a white kitchen, so getting the dark brown um, leather sofa was not a problem. But once we changed the kitchen, everything was really dark and deep in the house. So I really wanted to like elevate it, lighten it up, bring everything up. So light gray sofa. Uh, this is the Abisco from Article, um, in case anybody's wondering. Um, and then we also got a smaller coffee table, so just something small and round to. Um, Your phone is going nuts. Oh, crazy. Um, just smaller coffee table to take advantage of the space. So as you can see, it just shows like, it really brightens everything and it shows amazing. Are we still, are we looking at our faces now or are we seeing a picture? No, no I don't know, I haven't decided, I haven't edited it yet, so I'm debating because okay. I'm looking and we have to go get the kids. So okay. just trying to get you to move it a little bit. Okay, so that's that about the two sofas, but you'll see obviously it's a major impact, major difference, and definitely we wanted to put in the money and the time um, once we decided to sell. Yeah, so there you go. So this is one of the reasons why you do hire a stager. So even if you have some stuff you think it looks good, it's always good to have a professional come in and check out and say, well, yes, it could fit your but we can make it look even better. Yeah. There's always... Oh. And chances are pretty good that you didn't move into a house and buy the exact right furniture for that house. You probably brought along some furniture with you. Realistically, unless you're buying for that exact home, your stuff is going to be a little bit off. Just like you. We go now? Yeah, they want to get in touch with you? You can send us a DM at spaces.collective and just FYI, we're booking into mid March at the moment, so. And if we do, in case you've missed this off the two, we'll disregard that. 2022. <laughs> there you go. Okay. okay. All right, guys, we gotta go pick up the kids. <laughs> Bye. Bye.